And to breaking news just into our newsroom right now that's bringing some of Wayne County government to a standstill. This is unfolding as yeah. we speak. Seven investigator Ross Jones in the newsroom right now live with what he's learned so far. Ross, what more can you tell us? Well, Simon Glenda, the information changing by the minute in part because county leaders are still trying to come to grips with how much of government has been affected. But here's what we know right now. Within the last 24 hours, Wayne County says they were the victim of a hack. They are not certain who's behind it, but say the hackers have made a financial demand. The hack has affected servers throughout county government, and its impact is being felt in departments all over. At the Treasurer's Office, anyone trying to pay their taxes online right now cannot. The county sheriff's office has been affected too, with attorneys telling us they can't schedule any visits with their clients inside the jail. And for many jail inmates, the hack is having a huge impact because it has stopped the county from bonding anyone out of jail until this is resolved. At the Register of Deeds, where property records are stored and real estate transactions are recorded, the office has been shut down since noon. Representatives of the clerk's office and the prosecutor have not told us how, if at all, the hack has affected them, but both of their websites are currently down. Wayne County Courts tells us it's business as usual so far. Uh, we'll see if that changes. We're told the FBI and Michigan State Police are both investigating this cyber attack. It is not clear again what demand has been made by the hackers or who they are. We'll continue to follow this breaking story on later editions of 7 News Detroit. For now, I'm Ross Jones in the newsroom. All right, Ross, thank you for that update there.